Hey there everybody, this is Potter Brown, and welcome to another Biden reaction of some MLP fan work. Uh, this time we have a total legit recap, A Matter of Principles, Season 8, Episode Number 14 by DWK. Uh, speaking of DWK, I just watched something. Uh, it'll be posting alongside this video that I'm sure he'll thoroughly enjoy. You'll know, you know what I mean. Uh, but, enough about that. This video. Now the thumbnail. Very fitting. Yes, in this one, Discord was a giant douche. Now, I am far more of a fan of Discord than you are, obviously, DWK, but I gotta side with you on this one. It was just too much from Discord. There are times, you know, with this one and what about Discord, that is just like, eh, enough's enough, man. Some of, I mean, it's just some of the stuff that he was saying in this one was just kind of wrong. So, let's uh, see DWK rip him a new asshole. Alright, uh, and starting the video in 3, 2, 1, and go. And we'll learn all about oh, link in the description below. Be sure to support over there. Oh yeah, I know of course that Twilight is saying uh, Spellvenger Hunt, uh, Spellvenger Hunt, as in a combination of Spell and Scavenger Hunt. However, the, the first time I watched this, that is not what I heard. Uh, th that V is not very well enunciated and it sounded like an M to me. So I could have sworn she was saying Spell Minge or Hunt. Uh, I cannot unhear it. That is just what it sounds like in my head now. And anytime anyone mentions it, all I can think about is the students running around the friendship school looking for big hairy magical vaginas and now it's in your head too if yeah I thanks a lot for that asshole suffer with me yeah i was just about to say that and now it's in my head. channel i think anyway here we yeah. go kind of is okay so I didn't have a beer to crack open. All, all I have is empty beer cans, so I thought I'd crush one instead, but I, I think I just caught myself. You are right, man? Okay. I got more beer. So, we're learning some friendship, and Twice like, all right, guys, listen up. We're going to have a spell ninja hunt. Is that a pony thing? Anyway, I'm gonna switch you into pairs and you're gonna go find some ninjas. Uh, question. Yeah, uh, changeling girl. It's Ocellus. I'm gonna forget that again in a week, but, uh, what's your question? <laughs> when are you gonna stop milking this one shitty joke? When are you gonna grow fucking personality? Ouch. Ha! <laughs> Wrecked. Shut up, Ember Jr. I still can't even tell if you're a chick <laughs> or a dude. Oh yeah, also, I haven't done the episode where Spike gets his wings yet, so if you're one of those types out there who don't really watch the show anymore and just get your updates from fan content, then yeah, that happened. It's uh, episode 11. You should uh, definitely go watch it and then fucking hang yourself. Anyway, Twice like, all right, I guess two, not two, a fan, Gallus and Gabby 2.0, you're the first team. <laughs> What's the problem? I think they'll make a good pair. I don't know, I see how it is. You know, just, we both look like bird things, right? Just throw all the beak fags together and shuffle them out of the building. Thing. Um, why pony racist? Okay, everybody back the <laughs> fuck up. I am not a... Nice. So, Twilight gets a booty call and the gals are like, great fucking booty job, call. Twy. Yeah, you yeah. just had to say something stupid. Now the entire teaching staff has to go to sensitivity training. I'm not a racist. I swear, <laughs> nobody even let me explain. Twilight, just play along and take it up the ass before this gets on the internet and we all lose our fucking jobs. Anyway, Purple has to leave someone in charge while she goes away for a little re-education and oh my stars look who it is and gloomy's like dude i'm flat out telling you this is a terrible idea and i will fuck it up but twiggy's all you're the perfect choice you're a good leader and an expert in friendship nothing you just there. said is true now starlight what do i always tell you about being confident in yourself that it doesn't matter if i am or not because you could still charge me for all the crimes i committed so i'm your bitch forever just like spike exactly now fucking do it you ungrateful <laughs> slut don't worry starlight free will is overrated so at this point i'm thinking like sweet time for a nice help and a good old glim glam shenanigans with some 
Spike on the side. I like these two together. Spike doesn't have the sort of little brother manservant relationship to Glimmer that he does with Twy and the rest of the gals because they're both butt slaves. They treat each other like equals and if anything, Spike gets to be the advisor for once. Surely this will be a contender for my favorite episode of the season. And now... No fun allowed. Never mind. You know, Discord's role in this show is meta as fuck for me. He doesn't just show up and ruin the pony's day. He shows up and ruins my day. I don't have very many good days, all right? I look forward to this shit. This is what keeps me going throughout the week. And, hold on, maybe this could be okay. Right. Granted, Discord is still far from my number one choice if I happen to be in Ponyland looking for someone to hang out with, but after that whole Fluttershy tea party incident last season and getting to see the world through his eyes for a minute, I, I've been feeling a little warmer towards the guy lately. I'll give this a chance and maybe he won't fuck it up. No! He's fucking it up! He's fucking it up! I'm just thinking, <laughs> if Glimmer went walking around wearing that wig, no extra effort, just exactly like this with the hair hanging out and everything, I how long do you think it would actually take before someone even looked close enough and realized she wasn't Twilight? Anyway, douche cord pulls as usual. I think it'd take a couple hours. Everything up, so Glim Glam has to call in the cavalry and oh, Trixie, you're back. You're finally back. You see, guys, you can't evade the law forever. All those years of illegal back alley firework dealings and smoking shards finally caught up to poor Trixie, and over the past 10 months, she's been paying her debt to society at the Canterlot Correctional Friendship Dungeon. But now, finally, Glimmy's been able to use her government connections yeah. to get Trixie into a work release program, and another display of the blatant nepotism in practice at this institution has gotten her a cushy job teaching here at the School of friendship also uh hey spitfire why are you uh why are you looking at me like that huh sorry sweetie i i could never date you i mean you seem like a really cool chick but you got that like annoying raspy gargly voice and you always you're always yelling i i can't uh, i can't stand people like that and so we finally get our first trixie scene of the season but surprise charlie chocolate fuck shows up and ruins it and trixie's like hey get the banana out of here it's going straight up your ass no magic no lube hey, as long as we can take turns i'll even set it to vibrate no fruit in my class. Yeah, that was too easy for you. Yeah, seriously. Anyway, Glimmy finally gets as sick of Discord shit as I am, and she's like, give me a reason, dude. <laughs> You're gay. Well, I think we're back in the running here, guys. <laughs> and so, Glimmer does some first-rate guidance counseling and guides her Yeah, they may... Straight I know up she's OP, but... And these guys this are one like, just kind of... That was uh, just like a temporary ban, right? No, he's dead. And Spike's all, man, that was maybe disproportionate retribution a little bit, possibly? Okay, maybe I got caught up in the moment a little bit, but like, do you think anyone's really gonna be broken up about it? Well, you did just kind of ruin my D&D &D nights, but yeah, probably no one except Fluttershy. I mean, she's always hella depressed anyway, right? So, no harm, no foul? Well, if Twilight hasn't chopped your horn off by now and left you to rot in a dungeon, I don't see how this would be the tipping point. Now come on, we got a spell twat hunt to run. Yeah, I wish. Anyway, despite being completely and utterly 100% justified in murdering Discord, Glimmy, for some inconceivable reason, feels like a dick about it, and so Discord's restless spirit latches onto her emotional vulnerability and returns from beyond the grave to torment the faculty and students of the Friendship School. And she's all fine, you can be alive again if it's such a big deal. Jesus Christ. Thanks, most people prefer to exist, even I know that. Listen, man. I'm sorry, okay? I finally understand why you're acting like this. And, What's the you know, point gonna be here? The obvious answer is 
fuck you. It doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah, it does. That's the whole lesson of the fucking thing. No, the real lesson is that I'm a fucking idiot for ever getting mad in the first place. I've known you long enough to understand what your life is like, and you're a lonely, insecure, pitiable person. All this bullshit you constantly pull is like the screeching of a neglected child so starved for attention that he doesn't even care if that attention is a beating. At least it's proof he exists. Lacking empathy towards something that pathetic makes you equally pathetic. And at this point, anyone who still has a massive hate boner for you is just as petty and childish as you are. Uh, like the guy who made this video? Exactly. Yeah. Fuck that guy. <laughs> Well, he could have been a lot harsher towards Discord in this one, I gotta say. There was, uh, I mean, the whole, uh, Starlight being super OP thing, yeah, it's, that kind of sticks in my craw in that sense, but, uh, did I use that phrase correctly? I don't know. That grinds my gears a little bit, just a little bit. When they show her do stuff like that, uh, Taking out a bugbear. Actually having the power to banish Discord from a location. It's a bit much. It's a bit much. I know she's powerful, but it's a bit much. But, uh, yeah, as I was saying. DWK could have been a lot harsher towards Discord in this one. And to be perfectly frank, it would have been, to be perfectly honest, even I think it would have been justifiable. I am a huge fan of Discord. He's one of my favorite characters from the series. Uh, so, you know, even I could say that, yeah, it's it's just this Discord was a giant douche in this episode. Uh, anyway, moving on to nothing. I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And I'm going to end this one here. Until next time. Take care. Bye.